I mean, I, I immediately saw and thought, well, he's done. Or he's leaning that way right now. Things may change over the next couple months. But if I had to guess right now where he's leaning, it's retirement. Tom Brady, the GOAT. What do we make of the comments where he says this, this is about family, a family decision, and that Giselle hates it whenever he gets hit, and he's, he's serious about discussing retirement right now. He's going to take some time and think about it. But in listening to the comments, guys, it sounds more realistic than ever for me. It does. But I might be a little long on this, but stick with me. West Wing was one of my favorite shows, all right? Leo McGarry is the president's chief of staff. He's the guy that, that is running the White House. And he's having trouble with his wife. And he's having a fight with his wife. And his wife gets him. She says, it's, it's family, Leo. It's more important. And she gets him to say, it's not. It crushes her, right? But he's saying, for these four years or for these eight years, it's not. I, I'm running the White House, and for this period of time, running the White House is more important than family. And after that's over, I'll be back, and I'll make it up. Now, I'm not equating re- quarterbacking a football team, but he can't give her what she requires right now. If He doesn't get the years that he can play football back. If he's got two more years, he's got two more years, and he's got two more years of taking hits, and – and in a football family, the, the, the deal you make is, honey, you, you endure it for the duration of this thing. And then after it's over, we get, a normal, we get a normal life. So she's asking him. I'm not saying she won't get what she wants. It's the negotiation you have. But usually the deal's already been struck. I, I get to do it. And this is the deal that we've made. And you watch me get hit and it's painful and it sucks. And then there comes a time when it's over and that's it. But you usually don't renegotiate that. And the way he's talked for all of this time, I find it hard to believe that he, that she can jump in and renegotiate it. And they've been certainly discussing this after the last, what, five years, I'd say? And every yeah, time he seasons. comes out and he's talking about 46, 46. Right. And, Chad, I get the sense that it's either over now or the, the announcement is it's one more year and, I'm, and that's the career. See, I think he'll resist the one more year because he doesn't want the retirement parade. And so I think he'll work to keep it quiet, even if he, even if he knows it's one more year. He doesn't want the Mariano Rivera get a rocking chair at pregame, every game salute. I get the sense that uh, Mama ain't happy right now, and that's what's weighing on Tom Brady. But we had that sense um, whenever the Titans went to Foxborough, and it was 2019, and it looked like Brady was done. And we were discussing the same thing then. We got the sense that that she wants him. She wants him home with the kids and not playing another year. He gave up off seasons at one point for that, right? He stopped going to Foxborough. But this feels different. I, it's very difficult for me to explain why it feels different. Well, it's, it's that just, quote. I, I don't know that I've ever seen a quote that strong about, you know, I, I, she deserves a better husband and better father yeah. to the kids. He said and something like this once before. I don't remember the time. I, I mean, I, I immediately saw and thought, well, he's done. Or he's leaning that way right now. Things may change over the next couple months. But if I had to guess right now where he's leaning, it's retirement. And that he's not going to be back, which shocks me. Because he's he's still playing at such a high level. Yeah, and that was And it's so important to him. That was kind of the the line of demarcation for him was if I'm not helping my team get to the playoffs and compete in the playoffs, I'll know it's it's over. But I mean he's he's coming off one of the best years he ever had. I mean that is remarkable. I think there's three factors. One, his ability, and if he feels like he can still play at the highest level, which he can. We know he can and he I'm sure he feels that way. Two, his family's happiness, which is waning, it sounds like. They're ready for him to retire and and not be preparing for football year-round. Three, his team's ability to win a Super Bowl. That's going to go down next year. So, one check, ability, still can get it done. And there's two boxes left unchecked. And that's family happiness overall that we don't know about. And the Bucs' ability to win the Super Bowl. Because I do think that they're going to be 
Now, two years removed from winning it. The roster's not going to be quite as good. It's a little bit older. They're going to lose some guys. I, I can't sit here right now and say that they're going to be as good or better next year. They're probably going to be worse. I think you're overrating that And that's going to that be a factor box. with Tom Brady. I think you're overrating that last box. He goes into every season, no matter what he has, expecting and believing he can win. And he's won with lesser, he's won with lesser teams. I don't know this. that 45-year-old Tom Brady is going into it like 28-year-old Tom Brady that I can... We can, I can get all these boats to rise and we can go win a Super Bowl. I think he's out there. He, he loves the game, still. but he also he's not going to be a, around a team that he doesn't feel wholeheartedly c- should go and win a Super well, Bowl. Let me I add, think the NFC is still wide open. Look at what it is right now. Well, let me ask. Let me pose this question then, Chad. Are you saying it's bucks or bust? Could you see him in any other team? He's got a year left on his contract, right? Yep. I think it's bucks or bust. He's I think I think it's shopping. either he's going to fulfill his contract and play another year in Tampa, or he's going to retire. I think it's bucks. I, or I bust don't think too. it's a I want to get traded to a different team. Well, then if it's bucks or bust, it does factor in what team they're bringing back. I I agree. If it's I about championships, I, I really think it's those three things that he's winning. I'm not saying he doesn't want the best possible team brought back that he can get. I think they can put together a team that can compete it's probably not going to be as good as the team he won with two years ago that's a fact of life in in the nfl but i i don't think he's going to say oh it's not you know it's not as good here it's not as good there it's not a guarantee we're going to win so i don't compete i mean that's not the way he works he's going to say we've got this and this and this and we can win with that let's go 